Okay, um, welcome back to Hoodie Bear Videos. Uh, it's been a long time since I've done some uh, guitar videos, so I thought um, it's about time again. Um, so today, um, I'm going to start off with a nice easy one. Um, for those of you who have been in the market for a Gibson, and you're torn, do I go Les Paul, do I go SG, which one do I go for? Well, hopefully this will give you a quick, very, very, very quick, um, overview of the difference between the two of them. Um, mainly, I would say, um, tone-wise. Um, so what we're going to take a look at today, and we're not going to be comparing apples with apples. So I know there's going to be differences between these two different guitars, um, but that's the, that's the whole point of this video, is to show you the differences. These are two just basically standard guitars um, to hopefully give you an idea and, and um, give you a difference between it, between the two when you're torn between spending uh, maybe on a on a, a brand new SG or a brand new Les Paul or a second hand one, whichever one. Okay, um, so what we're going to take a look at today is I've got a um, a 2020 Gibson SG standard. Okay, not a special, the standard, um, and I've also got a, a 2021 um, Gibson Les Paul Classic. Okay, um, so there's, there is, I'm not going to be going into all the full details on the Classic because there's a lot more functionality in the Classic than, than, the, um, than the SG, but we're going to be comparing double humbucker with double humbucker, if you see, if you, see, if you know what I mean. Um, okay, so, um, bear me a second and let's, um, let's plug in the, the old uh, SG. Okay, so this is 2020 Gibson SG. SG standard, you can tell straight away because it's got the edge binding, edge binding on the neck. Yeah. Um, okay, so this is again, this is a, a, a twenty twenty um, Gibson SG standard. Right. Um, what I'm using as an amp these days is a Hotone uh, Ampero. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is giving you like a, a bit of a clean tone first. Um, and then I'll go through um, some overdrive tones or some a little more heavier tones. Okay, so this is the bridge, bridge on the Gibson SG. Okay, so. the bridge pickup let's go to uh, the middle position so this is both pickups now And then the neck pickup. Okay, so um, bridge pickup, nice and clear and bright. Yeah, um, I wouldn't say a huge difference between the middle and the bridge pickup, and the, sorry, the neck pickup. It's a bit more clarity, a bit more twang um, in, a, in the middle pickup. In the middle um, position compared to a bridge. Um, 
main differences, the Les Paul and the SG, a lot, the SG is a lot lighter, hell of a lot lighter. Um, it's a lot thinner. Um, it's, a, it's a mahogany, so it's a, it's the very same sort of th same sort of wood as the as the Les Paul. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's a lot lighter. The the neck. Some people struggle with playing on SG because essentially, say you're playing on, on a Les Paul, the position here, so the twelfth there on a on a Les Paul is right by here. On a on a sorry on SG by right by here. On a Les Paul, it feels like it, it's it's down by there because your your neck basically ends that further for further end forward. Yeah, if you see what I mean. Um, some people say they 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 dive. This isn't. Um, I haven't found I, some some SEs. I, I don't know why. Maybe the ones with the robot tuners and stuff like that do. Um, but uh, I've uh, this one I've got no problems with. And this is a 2020. Okay, okay. So this um, give you a uh, the sort of football would know onto the um, Les Paul. First thing I'm noticing is the weight difference. Um, I would even say this one here. This is a classic. Very minimal weight relief in it. Um, uh, is I would say a good third or more heavier. But I like that. I like a nice bit of weight. Okay. So um, let's give it some clean tones. So. Whoop. <laughs> First of all, I'm noticing that it's, um, it's a lot more mids to it, yeah? Whereas I would say this is obviously a class it as the same sort of thing as a mask between a Marshall and a Fender. I would say the SG is a lot more mid-scooped, something to my ears. Um, <laughs> okay, so that's the bridge, go to the middle. <laughs> to the neck. The, uh... One thing I'm noticing straight away is that the pickups are a lot hotter in this. This is a Les Paul classic, okay? Um, the difference between this and the Les, Les Paul classic and the standard, personally, um, the main main thing is the flame top. The flame top, the, or the lack of flame top on the classic. But I love this, I call this peachy. Um, this is, I think this is really, really pretty. It's a heritage cherry red. Um, but uh, yeah, it's, it's the main difference, essentially. In a lot of the standards, this sort of, sort of age now is um, is that the, it's it, the the wood that they use for the for the tops. Um, this is this is not as flamey, but still very very pretty. Okay, right. Um, so you you've heard now. <laughs> difference between that, clean wise. And the SG. Right, so I'll swap back onto the SG now. So you've got that, that, that tone in your ears, yeah? Okay. So I'm going to give you a clean tone just to... So you can see the difference. 
Again. Yep. Ooh. And here we go. See the difference between the two of them? Now, if you're in a band, that's going to cut through. That's really going to cut through. Not as much bass on it. Okay, so what I'm going to give you now is so the Ampero is my kind of um, general rhythm tone for the back of my band. <laughs> SGs have sustain as well, just as much as Les Pauls. the uh, bridge pickup middle SG. Still in your ears? So this again is just straight bridge pickup. No specialities. Hotter pickups than this. position. difference this was um, brand new 1800 pound the SG uh, brand new is 1300 pound 500 pound difference <laughs> now 
Now, um, I'll show you the SG again one little second again. This is a lot hotter pickups than this. Um, you do get the functionality of the split coils with the classic, uh, this classic version classic as well. I'm not sure about the older ones. I don't think they did. But I uh, know this one, this, yeah, the 2021 has got the split coils on, on the um, uh, the first two um, pops on these here. Um, and then you've got the Peter Green like mode, um, reverse pull out on the neck on that one, uh, on the back one here. And you've got a, um, a blow pot on this, which just sends a signal straight from the, the, the neck. Sorry, for the input straight through to the bridge pickup and, it, and it, uh, completely avoids all the tones and the voice of pots and so on. So it gives you a little bit of a boost. But this is a classic. Um, uh, this is a lump. This is a good lump. I would say this is a good nine and a half, ten pounds, something like that. Um, uh, a pound of kilos. Uh, but anyway, it's a, a, it's a lot more of a lump to it, okay? Um, so I'm going to... Put that on your ears. I'm going to go back to the SG again. Oh, this time I'm going to hang this up. And I'm going to go back to the SG. Um, because you're thinking, you know, okay... I prefer it with a little bit more oomph. But straight away, you can add a bit more overdrive. Um, if you're using a, uh, a, a valve amp, though, and, you, and you're push, really pushing it, okay, I've got a super, a super overdrive here, a very, very cheap boss pedal. <laughs> Just as much, just as much output as on, on that one there, yeah? So, in essence, um, you got to think, okay? You got the heavier guitar. You got a Les Paul, the, the iconic Les Paul shape. Um, they are amazing guitars, in fact, especially these days now. Gibson has really got his their their um uh, their act together on the, on the new the newer guitars. Um, this is this is lovely. This is really really lovely. I'm actually selling this um, because um, I just want the Les Paul. Um, but this is beautiful. And to be fair, it's absolutely beautiful. And also, we can see the different grain in it, in it as well. Um, it's yeah, it's stunning. So this is a 2020, uh, 2020 um, uh, guitar, um, and it's absolutely beautiful. Um, I just prefer myself now the um, um, the Les Paul. I prefer a nice big lump of a guitar, to be honest. Um, I'm not sure if you can see my. Uh, I've got a um, Fender Roland G5. That's a, that's a, a fair bit of a lump to it as well. Um, I just prefer prefer that kind of I I I, I just prefer that kind of feel to it. Um, but um, yeah, they they are both in their own rights um, very 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 good guitars. Um, you can pick up a um, a Les Paul classic these days second hand uh, or Les Paul standard for anything from, from I would say from between about twelve hundred to about. 16, 1700, depends on the on the sort of age and and um, uh, the version of the Les Paul. Um, uh, a Gibson SG standard these days, second hand. You can probably well, I picked this one up for eight hundred pound. Uh, a twenty twenty with a hard case for eight hundred pound, um, which is it's an absolute steal for a, a very 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 top quality guitar. So, um, a lot more, um, uh, a lot more videos to come, guys. Uh, you always do this a lot more regularly now these days, and um, uh, I'm going to be doing some videos in in depth videos on the Ampero as well, and some patches like I used to do on the old GT GT8 and GT10 and stuff like that. Um, but anyway, um, this is uh, Scott from the Bear Wheel Videos um, signing out, and uh, hope you come back for more. Thank you very much.